Back here in the Llama garage today with the giant TCR, it's upgrade day. Now, ever since I've had the giant TCR, it's been in the back of my mind, wheel sets, wheel sets, wheel sets. Now, there's nothing wrong with the SLR ones that come with this. They're 42 mil carbon, disc brake, center lock. They roll just fine, but the internal rim is a 17 mil internal rim. Now, we have two sets of Hunt wheels on the other bikes that we have here, the 19 mil internal rim, and they say it's a smoother ride, more comfortable, etc. So when this came with 17s, that's why it was always in the back of my mind, to do the upgrade. So this week I reached out to Hunt, and here's what they come up with as probably the best option for the upgrade here. So here we are on the Hunt website with the set recommended to me for the upgrade for the TCR. So they turn out to be the Hunt 4050 Carbon Aero Disc Wheel Set. Mixed depth performance, now in disc form, 40 on the front, 50 on the back, 27 mil wide. Claimed weight of 1458 grams. I'm not sure we're gonna be able to hit that given there's rim tape gonna be supplied on these wheels. It should come close. Price wise, looking at 849 GBP, 849 pounds, limited stock. One thing I do like about Hunt is the free worldwide shipping. Very handy, it takes less than a week to get these wheels to Australia. That's the, this will be the third set coming over that we've had. Uh, all the details are here, uh, reviews, next, 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 and specs overview here. And again, the summary, I've got the 12 by 142 bolt through or through axle. Scrolling past the pretty pictures and all the details here, I'll link below to this website. Uh, more technology is what we're after. So rim details, spokes, axle size, hub details, everything you need to know and more and some tire information here so they're recommended it's suitable for tires 23 mil up to 50 mil wide it's kind of handy i'm going not quite in the middle there. i'm going 25 mil tires on these today but it's nice to know they will fit or accommodate larger tires maybe 28s in the future if i can get them to fit on the tcr scrolling down so warranty information tire fitting information more reviews and there we are so these are going on the bike today the hunt 4050 carbon aero disc wheel set. So here we are, they have arrived. Looking forward to getting these on and switching out the GP5000 clinches onto them with the latex tubes. Now I have been running these GP5000 clinches for around 200 kilometers, they've been brilliant. The GP5000 clinches on the current rims I'm running measure out at 26.2 mil when they're pumped up. So I'm really keen to see how wide they go on these 21 internal mil rims. All right. Let's get this bike out of the way, let's get these unboxed and do the old switcheroo. Now this is gonna involve the rubber, the cassette, the center lock hubs. I think that's about it. Should be straightforward, yeah? Okay, my inspection sheet, um, more descriptions about uh, center locks or whatever else I need. Um, Aha. Adapters that I don't require, spare spokes, uh, tubeless valves, uh, everything I need but don't need today. Awesome. Here we go. Nothing more in the box. Packing sheet, uh, invoice, okay. Right. Obviously the rear. So tubeless ready, but I am putting clinches on this. The reason being is I don't have any tubeless. I'm not finished with tubeless just yet. I'll put another set on this summer when the GP5000 clinches wear out. So that's looking good. That's the rear, we'll put them on the scales in a moment. Let's look at the front. That is light. I can feel there's not much weight in this whatsoever. Okay, front wheel. Here, same deal with the 21 mil internal rim. So this is a 40 and a 50 they tell me. 
So this didn't look like a 40 whatsoever, but lo and behold, 40.2, that's a 40. Who would have thought? Okay. Now, let's put them to the test on the weight scale. Okay, a bit of trickery to measure a wheel, so we put a, a bracket on there first. Zero that, zero it like a power meter. Okay, rear wheel weighing in at 8.89. And over to the front wheel, which I think is gonna be a lot less than that. Weighing in at 6.46. So doing the quick math on that, 1535 grams, not quite to spec, but near enough. Let's get these on the bike. First things first, we'll get the rotors off these without touching the brake surface. Next up, ties off. It's always a bit of a letdown. Dad jokes, I'm allowed. Okay, now these on the scales. <laughs> the rear coming in at 785, 783. And 619 for the front, so that's 1402 grams. The giant stock wheels were lighter than those new ones. Unfortunately, the valve on here isn't long enough for the 50 mil wheel, so I'm gonna to have to put a valve extender on this tube. Okay, that should get the job done for now anyway, until I get a probably a 70 mil rather than this absolute high tower monstrosity. <laughs> Forwards is this way, the disc is on that side. These tires are directional, so I make sure I put them on the right way. There's still a lot of telc powder on here, so I'm assuming these are gonna slip on just fine. Rotation is that way. Wheel is facing that way. We have to line up the decals with the whole Continental or the GP5000 with the whole. We'll go Continental with the whole. That was easy. A little bit of air in the tube to give it some volume. Still not enough volume. Did I say I like tubeless? Tubeless is probably a little easier than putting a tube in. Kind of. <laughs> oh, we're almost there. We're gonna do it. This is probably the first time I've been able to seat a tire without using the, off. Oh. Happy days on that one. Now, next thing, I run around the top of the rim here, pinching, 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 to make sure the tube isn't showing out from underneath the tire. Having a red tube helps, or pink, salmon maybe even. Nothing showing. The last thing we want to do is pump these up with a little bit of bulge out the side, and kaboom, I have been at a race once where it's happened within a meter of my ear. No more surprise was I than the person pumping their tire up at the time. It was a bit of a nix change. That's good to go. Okay, cool, cool. Let's pump this up. 
wait for those cracks of the bead getting in play and let's see how it looks. Wait for it. Actually, they might just seat on okay. Let's give it a quick spin. No, that hasn't seated just yet. You need to pump them up so they go bang on the rim. <sighs> that was at 40 PSI, not much at all. Oh, my nerves. Wait, just in case. Okay, that's up at 110. I'm not going to be running 110 on these. I just wanted to seat them on though. Make sure that's set on the rim. And we are good. Straight down the line. Awesome. Back to more human pressures for now. Disc goes on. One down. And they do look nice and fat and it does fit the profile straight down to the rim. That's quite nice. One down, one to go. Ooh. Again, I think the reason why that went on so well is that they were already pre-prepared with the baby powder with the inside of the rims and the outside of the rims from when I put them on the giant wheels, which were a lot harder than that. So again, looking for the direction so I don't get called out for having my tires on facing the wrong way. <laughs> direction this way. Tire goes that way. We want continental on the hunt section. Rinse and repeat. Two from two. A little bit harder that one though, but we're on. Okay, and again, running around the top to make sure there's no peakage. <laughs> is that a word? So what I'm making sure is there's no tube sticking out under here. And it's all seated pretty well, given the tire had a little bit of air in it. Cool. Oof, oof. That's at 100, which I'm not going to be running at, but just to make sure everything is seated. Ah, oh, yeah. Perfect. Okay, 80 on the back. Let's see what they measure in at. And these coming in at, I'm gonna squeeze this on here, 27.5. Not as much as I thought, but still a little wider for a 25 mil tire. And with the front now up to 80, which is what I'll be running out on the road, 27.46, so about 27.5 on the front too, as we'd expect. So there we are, job done. Wheels swapped over. Let's see how they ride out on the road. That internal rim width is what it was all about, fattening those tires up, hopefully smoothing things out, out on the roughish tarmac that we have here in Ballarat. Anyway, thanks for watching this one. I'll do a follow-up video on these, as I have done with my other hunt wheels, after a few thousand kilometers to see how they hold up. But uh, this should be a pretty good experiment.
All right, thanks for watching. As always, hit subscribe to be notified of more videos coming up on this channel, and be sure to hit that join button to become a member of the GP Lama YouTube channel to support what I'm up to. That's much appreciated.